Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another Bastards YouTube show for post-game. I needed to take a little bit of time. I know Brendan needed to take a little time to get back <laughs> as he witnessed that atrocity tonight. But I needed to take a little time to take a walk, clear my head, relax a little bit, because yet again, we see an utter embarrassment at Fenway Park. The Red Sox latest and greatest with them losing by a final score of 11 to 2. Tanner Hulk was your starter. He gave up five runs, proving yet again, and this is sad to me because I was hopeful that he was going to be proven as a starter, that he cannot be a starter. He's not. He's a bulk guy, maybe two innings, an inning or something like that, but after that, tail spins out of control. The offense tonight, Brendan, was nowhere to be seen outside of Connor Wong for the most part with two hits. We had four whopping hits tonight against the class of the AL East, the Baltimore Orioles. I need to repeat that again because I'm not used yeah, to Yeah, say that like one I more time. <laughs> the class of the AL East, the Baltimore Orioles. You know what? I'm not going to knock them, Brendan, because there's a team that's young and hungry, that's proving something. I can't hate the Orioles. Can you hate the Orioles? Give us your intake on what you witnessed tonight at Fenway, too. All right. Overall, Baltimore Orioles, Camden Yards, it's a good story. They've been out of the playoffs since 2016, I think. Um, they're they're finally in contention. They're looking to win the division crown. Love to see it. I just came back from the, uh, the ground-bearing dust field. That was Fenway. Um, absolute demolish. Demolition for the Boston Red Sox. Anemic performance on offense, really. Uh, once again, Sedane Raffaella out until the eighth inning, coming in pinch hitting, getting one at bat in the game. I was looking at the stats on the jumbo draw. This kid, his OPS is like north of, I mean, he's on, he's on like five at bats, but the OPS north of a thousand. Like the kid is batting well. He's a gold glove outfielder. He's playing utility infield for the team. He played second tonight again when he only played one inning in uh, single A that I was talking about on our last podcast. The kid plays shortstop, second base, all the outfield. It's September. We're six games out. What are we doing? Where's Rafaela? I keep saying it. Get that kid reps. He He's the future. You're going to figure out your depth later. I don't want to keep seeing Adam Duvall going up. I love Adam Duvall, but he needs to be benched and figure it out right now. He went 0 for 4, 3 strikeouts. He's not seeing you the ball well funny. right now. It's kind of funny if we dial this back up earlier this week, definitely during the weekend, we were all singing a happy tune for about Adam, Adam Duvall. Yep. We must be the prototypical bandwagon Red Sox. No, we're not. We call it as we see, as we always say. Was Adam Duvall on a tear earlier? Sure was. But right now, he is back to what you saw when he came back from his injury with his wrist. Yep. Concerning, because I can't really sit there and watch a player be as hot and cold as so many of these players on this Red Sox team are. And I have to tell you, and that's why it's hard for me sometimes to really gravitate to this team is because they're really, sorry to say this folks, we don't have a superstar on this team and do not give me. Don't, don't say Devers, Raffy. The super. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't even go there fans. <laughs> don't. Because oh. if you're fully happy with what he's put up with this season, then that means you must be real happy without winning. That must mean that you never won as a child. You never got a trophy. You never saw nice things. We really have to get to some sort of a understanding that this word superstar, and you heard me earlier with Brendan, when we talked about Sedan Raffaella, when he's we already making comparisons, and I'm gonna even put um, so back. Tyler Milliken was also praising. I saw that too. Rafi, uh, 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 Mookie Betts and Sedan Raffaella as well. Cut the Evan Love and crap 
with these comparisons. The Brian Bayo looks like he's going to be the up and coming Pedro. All this does is make fools of these people when they go out and fail. When they go out and fail, it is setting them up to fail. So you fan base need to knock it off. Let these players come up and do their thing. Give it a year. Give it a year and a half. See what happens. But stop putting the label of these players and making them superstars. It is driving me crazy. That is my rant for tonight, Brendan. Drive gotcha. me off a clip. It's for these media darlings out there so they can get their little clicks and likes and all their stupidity online. Call it as you see. Another one. Tristan Casas is not a superstar. Stop. Just stop with that comparison. Let the kid produce, build up some value a year or two, and then if he gets to being an all-star and a champion and stuff like that, that's a superstar. At least in my definition, a superstar is a winner. I I don't mean to throw this Boston Celtics here in, into this reference, Brendan, but I'm sorry. Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, to me, are not superstars yet. Sorry. That's how I feel. And I am entitled to feel that way. Other people can feel the up uh, that other way, but it it's 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 lying to yourself when you do this. Nick, I, I see where you're coming from. I mean, it's a lot of reaching right now, especially with with these young prospects, like reaching for pure potential. It is setting up for failure, really, though. You're putting too much pressure and you're you could see them implode. I mean the big thing with the Boston Red Sox right now is is the product itself just really isn't up to standard in the city. Like, this is a disgrace. I was at this game, and you really were never in it. Um, Connor Wong hit the bomb, and, and it looked good, but you were really never in it. This team has a lot to fix going into the offseason. Um, there's rumblings. and it, I mean, it all starts at the top, but if John Henry can prove to you that he's willing to cut ties with Bloom, bring Theo back. You need him. If that's your and savior. Because because there's rumblings about Theo, because Manfred just got his new deal with MLB, so there was rumblings that Theo might do Manfred's job, but no. If you could get Theo, there's a world where I start to believe in Henry again um, because this team needs a major shakeup. This, this product is unacceptable for the fans. It's unacceptable and – and I jokingly said to Brendan for, right now. before this started here, I go, Brendan, did anybody stand up and sing Sweet Caroline down, whatever the hell the score was? Of course there were. Of course yeah, there was. were. It, it's not going to a game anymore. You are going to – it's almost the like park. a theater. It's a theater. The, the draw a theater. is not the team anymore. Park. The draw is the park. They're appealing to away fans to come to Boston. That's why they're building hotels out of the park. They want people – to travel, it's going to be a national tourist attraction. It's not about the blue collar Boston Red Sox fan anymore. It's a national attraction. Last thing I want to mention on the game: Did you yell any, any anything down there? You didn't get thrown out or anything, but did you yell anything like "Yo, Trevor Story, do something"? Like something like that. Like that's what I, I got. It. I got an evil look from Verdugo. <laughs> oh, you did. I, I I was in center field heckling him, and I got a little bit of a look. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what did you What did you say to him? Take off your gold chain. No, nah, yeah, I was I was just screaming about his at bat. Um, I mean, he did hit a double at one point, which could have been for my constructive criticism. Um, gold chain holding you back. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, I did get a little bit of a bad look. Okay, yeah, what whatever. You do? Wear the bat. This team sucks. And whatever we suck. It is, whatever it is. Do better. Um, speaking of not being too that much. great. You have Chris Sale tomorrow. If you want to stomach that, if you right. really want to want into that, now people are going to be up all night, <coughs> hitting their pillow up against the wall or something. Yep. Um, that and uh, Flaherty will go against the Orioles, uh, for the <laughs> Orioles rather. I'm calling a sweep, Orioles. Yep. Say yep. night, Boston, because we're out of here. That's about enough of this. Six tonight. games out. See you all soon.